I passed my CDL permit and they asked me what kind of permit I wanted. So I told them when I had the wreck in my car, I was talking to the officer and he told me a place, a local place that was hiring so I could be home. But I told my wife, now, if I'm working 10 hours, I said, we ain't gonna be able to go out to eat. I'm gonna come home, gotta get to bed. Cause you know, you driving all this weight around the truck and you wanna be safe. Cause these little cars, you know, they don't really respect because they know they can move fast, so they don't really respect that you're 50,000 pounds going down the highway. So you got to be defensive, you know, and watch out for the aggressive drivers while you try, but you're getting paid to do it. So that's one good thing. But yeah, I was supposed to get my the rental car and they called me. My, wife, my daughter was trying to figure out how to, what time to take me over there. Well, they called while she was talking to me, so I answered it, and I did a three-way, and, and they said, oh, we had to cancel your order. We couldn't get your car. There's no way we're going to get that at this location. But they waited five days to tell me that. That was Enterprise and Aiken off of um, Richland Avenue. So then I had to call a bunch of other ones, but I was going to take my test today because <clears throat> next week I got to work a bunch of overtime during the day so and the following week is when the school starts it's free right now as far as i know i went and took, i've been studying and the way i studied the free training gave you 25 questions on air brakes 25 on uh, combinations and then 50 on general knowledge well i was watching youtube and the guy had a little app and it was called like CDL prep. Now, sometimes it has like little commercials, but it's free. And it has like eight different training you can go through. It has, you know, air brakes, combinations, general knowledge, hazmat. But I think you got to go to school for hazmat. And then it had a uh, tanker. So I think combinations is just like one trailer or it might cover two trailers. But it's mainly, you know, your air brakes and learning how to your truck not to sway back and forth. But I... The way I study, all those questions, I did an Excel spreadsheet. I wrote them down and then wrote the right answer. And I just kept reading them, reading them, reading them. I have about 25 more on my phone because you take it on your phone and do a screenshot. And then after I recorded on my Excel spreadsheet, then I would delete it off my phone. So I didn't have all that information. I got about 25 more questions, but on the app, the app has about 71 questions for air brakes, about 71 for combinations, and 240 for general knowledge. So after I wrote all that down, you know, beside the 25 I still have left on my phone, I just read it, and I'd watch a little TV, then I'd go back and write them down, and I'd read the old questions, the answers, and try to get them in my head, and I did that. To me, I wanted to be more prepared but I was pretty prepared. But, you know, then we get hard today and then had to go to the highway department on a Friday and the whole place is packed. And all, all these people up there doing the same thing I'm doing, taking the test. Because, you know, this class starts the 16th. Got excited about it. You know, I got to take my wife probably to Charleston one day and I got to get drug test. So then you got to take all that with you while you're learning to drive. And then if I pass the driving part, and pass the inspection part, then I should have my CDL. Then I guess I got to get a job. <laughs> so we'll see. It's kind of cool with the permit. You know, I did combinations, general knowledge, and air brakes. But if I wanted to add, say, tomorrow and next week, while I had the permit, I wanted to add, you know, tankers endorsement to it. Another endorsement, I think they call it. I would have to take all three of them again. But once I get my license, all I have to do is go in there and have, take the uh, tanker endorsement and they'll give me an endorsement on top of my license. So that's kind of cool. Once you get your license, it takes away your regular license and you can even get this real ID on your CDL license. So once I get my license, I'll probably make it a real ID. And then if I had to haul gas or whatever I'm doing, and I had to go like a 
think even a military base or, you know, somewhere they're more strict on IDs. I have my real ID and then it won't be any problem because I'm verified who I am. But the funny thing, <laughs> she said there was another me because my license, they keep your picture in there and my license, I think it's 10 years or 15 years. I can't remember, but I was clean shaven and now I got a beard and she said, there's another, there's another you. What are you doing? You know, the lady was kind of new doing everything. And uh, then they figured out I'm me just with a beard. So I look totally different. So yeah, man, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Passed my little, you know, little CDL permit. So I'm happy about that. You can download the app, uh, CDL Prep, I think. And it has like a little handlebar on it or something like that. And the guy, I seen a guy that was a new truck driver, and he's talking about it. He said he passed it after a week. So I guess I did about the same thing, but, you know, those 240 questions were something to record them all. But I want to get them on my Excel spreadsheet and have maybe, you know, just so I can have a little study guide in the future or something to keep up with it, you know, just to refresh myself on some of the rules and all. But, yeah, man, good luck if you're studying for your – CDL, and I never thought at my age, 52, I'd be trying to do this, but you never know. They, uh, till they get automated autonomous vehicles really good. They got jobs right now, and I'm 52, so if it makes it 10 years, I could retire at 62 if I wanted, but you know, we'll see. I really don't want to work 60 hours a week if I can help it maybe 30 hours a week. I don't really need a lot. I want to spend time with the grandbabies. Well, you know, today get to where they don't have anything in common with me for a little while. Start chasing girls, then oh well. But anyway, you know, hope you doing good. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna pass the test. I passed it. There was a lot of people in there that didn't pass it, but you got to study for it. And then there were certain questions that wasn't on the study guide or the school's study guide. Some of them were common sense, but they reworded the questions. And then some of the questions were on all two or three of the tests had the same questions, just worded it a little bit different, you know. But uh, good luck. Good luck on all you guys passing y'all's CDL permit. I'm excited. I've, I said, well, I passed it now. We'll see what the next step is. And I'm all relaxed out here. I've, I don't know if it's sinuses. I don't feel sick, but it's just when I eat, I feel kind of queasy. So I don't know if it's sinuses or whatever, change of the weather, you know, try to get over that too. But, you know, good luck. I just wanted to share that. I was excited about it.